It's February! Blimey! Time to say goodbye Ooh, to the very full Mila Automatic TT 5000 and see how it's done. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Season's greetings for the start of the month to you all. The Mila has been just like it always was really. This has always been a little bit of a, you know, cop out, easy choice because we used to use this daily for many years before. So it's been very nice to get it back out again and give it a good seeing to. And I'll be honest, I though I have the power head, I've not used it all that much, more special occasions, because it is a right old faff to wire the whole thing up. It's really bulky with the tools. If you catch the cable, it pops it off the hose. If you have large expanses, it'd be great. The odd rug, no point at all. So I have actually been using the combination floor tool that it came with, and it's very good, actually. Very good indeed, nothing wrong with that at all. That's been perfectly fine for most of the time. We also have this hard floor tool, which I've kept with it, because I've been using it here and there. Between that and the Parquet Twister though, I do prefer the Parquet Twister. There has been a casualty though. I was, I had the, triple extension wand and I was doing down the side of the oven yeah going really well until I caught the button I mean, this one's fine this one does the top telescopic bit this one just does the main part here so you could use it as a normal dual extension tube it popped off but it didn't just pop off it snapped as well so I couldn't even put it back on so now to do the wand you've got to push on the button itself which isn't you know, a big hardship, and it still works. It doesn't lock itself shut, but it never really did anyway, because all the only way it can do that is with that little catch there, the catch that was here clipped onto it, but you can still pull it apart. It wasn't actually doing enough. So, a bit of an annoyance, although it hasn't really written the machine off, so to speak. Hose, well... This handle grip is lovely for doing the floor, but as soon as you've got to, I don't know, do some dusting, it's a bit awkward. It's hard to describe really. I thought I would like tools like this, especially with the crevice tool, because you've got all that behind you. I don't know, and plus to do the crevice tool, to do that is actually quite painful on your hand because you're having to move this great lump of weight around so it's a bit of a shame that I, i've always thought that though on all of these type of meters they're they're lovely to use for doing flooring you know and perhaps up high dusting but for intricate work they are a little bit annoying doing bags hoover bags is really really hurts your arm after a while man so what else is new well have a look at the machine and see what's gone wrong. So what we do need to do is put the cap back onto there. It sits in there normally. That there it is, and that just clips on very nicely like that. We still have all three tools. They're fine. Have used most of the tools really. That's okay. Tool door does pop open if you are you know not delicate with it catch does work it's always been a bit worn though and on the s5 series as well it's such a weird design it's not terribly good the bag is ooh, very very full actually it wasn't a brand new bag when we started don't forget that is oh, i'm a class that is full but there's still room there's still suction as well you can't really notice anything it still sticks itself to the floor. There's a little bit of fluff on the pre-motor filter. 
nothing to be too concerned about though. Post filter is very carbony, but again, quite clean, really. And the reason that it is quite carbony is because unfortunately the motor did develop about a week or two ago. A bit of a funny noise, the tone changed. And if I'm being really picky, it was running a tad hotter as well. I don't know if I can make it do it on camera though. Let's have a go quickly. So we'll turn it on. Put it back. Not actually too bad. Let's let, let's go for it. It was only apparent on some of them rather than all of them, but it it it, it still runs fine anyway. So that's minimum. Let's put the hose back on so I can block it off. It does that as well, look. Look at the body flex. It's just that different tone on the wind down. It's, well, I'll, I'll say it's slightly annoying. It doesn't actually affect it running at all. And I didn't, I, I didn't notice it straight away anyway. It was only, it did it really badly once and then was fine. Possibly just the bearings obviously when I bought this years ago it, it, it was scrap it's got new bearings on the boat already maybe they are going again it's the sort of thing that I imagine it will, it will run fine for years years and years and years but obviously it's not too mint but I thought I should just disclose all that because as lovely as it's been to use it is sold or being sold I have had interest from another party with the tools it has here which is why we have this and not the parquet twister so i'm keeping the electro head because that will fit other machines and the parquet twist i'll keep because that will fit other machines but this has been in my fleet now for about four years and now it is time for it to go hence its last hurrah at being used for a month because I don't want it anymore. I have the Revolution 5000 now. I don't need this. My meaner thing has always been to trade up. So I started with the black base model. Then I got this and jumped the queue. And obviously now I've got the one above this, the Revolution. So I've got to be true to myself and not keep stuff that I cannot have space for. So this is going. So take one last look. I shall be messaging the interested party soon and saying it's ready. Sorry I broke the wand, although I'm not knocking anybody off because this is quite cheap anyway for one of these and it'll go on for years. I mentioned love. I, I, I already have mentioned the motor, but again, I, I don't think it's a massive deal breaker. But yeah, Mina has been Mina-tastic to use. It's a bit hard to really find any givings from this because it's fine <sighs> very I'll say boring because well that's what you want isn't it really you want it to be boring and reliable and do a good job so yeah boring old month with a very solid decent vacuum cleaner <sighs> right what we using for February well this may not surprise many of you but let's have a look anyway. For the month of February, I am going a little bit predictable maybe, a little bit boring, but I am using, and this has been planned for a while, the DC54 Kinetic. Now that it is all cleaned up, it's a bit full of dirt, but in fact, we'll dump that out in a minute, but it is all cleaned up, it is now not full of plaster dust, You've, you, you've seen the after, that's mainly why you saw the after when you did. So you can see that before this, and there isn't a lot really of new stuff to cover. 
today we can just get straight on with it. So this bit won't take long, obviously I've got all of the tools here. And there's a one there as well. So yes, I'm, this is the newest Dyson I would have used for more than, you know, testing it works after we fixed it. So it'll be quite interesting. It's also sold actually, but the owner says I could use it. So what tools are we using? Well, I still have the head that I got for when we had the DC-11. I need, I always try and use a hard floor head, mainly because this thing sucks itself down to the floor and it isn't actually that nice to use. Obviously we have the turbo nozzle with its modified bristles so I may not pick up a hundred percent of the fine dirt that I can't see from my laminate floor but the kids haven't died so far. It's been six years for Eva of not having a head with carbon fibre bristles, we could switch. This still has some of its on there, but I won't use this on hard floor anyway. We've got a hard floor tool. As long as this cleans the carpet nicely, I don't really care. And we have all of the other small tools. I still haven't done anything with this, actually, but I do have my one. As you can see, it, it's my one does that. This one doesn't. And it is something to do with those cogs. So my vague plan is, I'm going to hit this with a hammer and see if I can persuade the cogs. Otherwise, this one is a lot dirtier than this one. So my thinking is just to swap. It's in this clear bit here. So I could just swap the clear bit over, give it a wash assembled this time so it's a bit cleaner and just bolt it all back together again and think of what to do another day. So we have two tangle free turbine tools and obviously all of the other small tools which are going to leave in the bag because we don't really need to care about it for now. This is, you know, I didn't want to combine the after video with a 12 back and 12 months really. So that's why we are doing it this way. But what we will do just for, you know, old time's sake is pop the hood That's all the dirt. That's why the max line's so low because it all goes into here. So if we tip that out, we'll have a look at the shroud as well. Somebody asked me on the after video, is the shroud broken? No, it is not. It's just ever so, ever so flimsy. Well, there we go. There's a bit of lint around the shroud, which will keep an eye on it. Obviously, I have the shroud scraper tool, which. I can, you know, scrape the shroud with it. You just run it around, I think. Why, why you do that when you could just pick it off? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Can't say that we'll use it much, let's be honest. But I'll put that back on there. Put this on here just because we have it. There we go. And then we can pick some dirt up. I've added a few Cheerios for good measure because it's a little bit boring. So let's see how this can pick up all of this dirt. Wow, well, it's no power get there. Oh no, I haven't. I've clogged it up. Oh blimey. Oh, no, back, back, back. It's clogged already. Well, that's boding well, isn't it? You can't even. Oh, I suppose that is a really small, tiny air path, isn't it? Oh, well, I don't intend to be doing this throughout the month. Anything big, Amy will pick up with the Beko anyway, because that's what it's for. I now 
need to find something to twist that. There we go. Right, I think we best step on the rest of these. To avoid that happening again, hi, right, take two. Chasing them about. It's getting you know. But anything more than like a little grain of rice, it's just leaving it. Or pushing it down the club. I'm just not a fan of this head. It's huge. It feels like, and I say it's huge, the Mina head is actually probably comparably sized. But I don't know, the Mina head just feels nicer to use. This is massive. And it feels a bit unintuitive, especially compared to the lightweight turbo brush here. But hey ho, this will be my first modern Dyson experience in more than a couple of minutes, so hopefully I might learn something. I imagine it'll be absolutely fine, I'll be honest. There'll be no plaster dust or DIY detritus going into it, just pure household dirt. So it'll be interesting to see if the inners, internals clog themselves back up again. But we shall find out on the 1st of March, because for now, this is on the fleet. So, there we are. Thank you very much for watching. Me and me Dyson and me Mila. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.